Welcome to St. John's Newfoundland, Canada, also known as the City of Legends or simply the town. This video will provide 10 reasons why people love St. John's. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. Population of about 115,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled St. John's. St. John's is three hours and 20 minutes from Gander and seven hours from Cornerbrook. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love St. John's. People love St. John's because of Signal Hill. Several attractions make Signal Hill National Historic Site, overlooking the entrance to the harbor, the top place to go in St. John's, not the least of which is a 360 degree view encompassing the city, harbor, and sea. You can learn about the history and importance of Signal Hill and the harbor in the visitor center and explore the ruins of Queen's Battery built in the 1700s. Crowning the Hill, Cabot Tower was built in 1898 to mark the 400th anniversary of the John Cabot's voyage. Inside are exhibits and the first transatlantic wireless broadcast. It was here in 1901 that Marconi received that first transmission from England. The traditional noonday gun is fired daily in the summer from beside the tower. Also in the summer, the Signal Hill Tattoo recreates military drills from the 1800s with marching bands, cannons, and musket fire commemorating the last battle of the Seven Years' War fought here in 1762. This is usually performed four days a week and it's one of the favorite things to do for families visiting the city. People love St. John's because of Cape Spear Lighthouse. Atop dramatic cliffs just southeast of St. John's, Newfoundland's oldest surviving lighthouse marks Cape Spear, the most easterly point in North America. The 1836 lighthouse represents the unique design of that period, rising out of the center of the keeper's house, which has been restored to show the life of a 19th century lighthouse keeper. This was the main home of the same family for 150 years, as generation after generation of Cantwells work to maintain the light that guided mariners safely past the Cape. People love St. John's because of the rooms. On a ridge overlooking the city, the rooms combine the Provincial Museum, the Provincial Archives, and the Art Gallery of Newfoundland and Labrador into one integrated experience. Filled with interactive programs and exhibits, the Innovative Museum presents visitors with a changing set of experiences. Meet a real Newfoundland dog. Sample favorite Newfoundland foods. Hear traditional music and learn to play an instrument. Try a new art form and learn how Newfoundland and Labrador played a central role in the development of air travel. People love St. John's because of Quiddy Vitty. The charming little fishing community clustered at the shore of an inlet on the north side of Signal Hill has become a haven for local artisans and craftspeople who welcome visitors to their studios and workshops. This is not only an excellent place to go shopping for quality gifts and souvenirs, but it's also the place to meet the artists, who are happy to demonstrate and discuss their work and answer questions. People love St. John's because of the harbor and Water Street. Beginning as a pathway for early explorers and settlers, Water Street is the oldest main street in North America. As the commercial center of St. John's, it is still the meeting place for sailors from all over the world and close to where transatlantic cruise ships dock. The historic district today still has 19th century buildings. Along Water Street, Harborside Park has benches and views of ships, along with occasional performances in the summer and statues of the province's two signature dogs, the Newfoundland and the Labrador Retriever. People love St. John's because of the Johnson Geo Center. Designed to incorporate the surrounding terrain into its exhibit space, the Johnson Geo Center takes visitors behind Signal Hill and into the 550 million year old rock bed. More than a dozen interactive exhibits describe the Earth's geological and cultural history and newfound life. One of these, the Amazing Earth Theater, uses a variety of special effects to travel through time and space to the era when Earth was a molten mass 
Other exhibits include those on the future of space, the Titanic, the solar system, and a special area for younger children. People love St. John's because of the Basilica of St. John the Baptist. The Roman Catholic Basilica is considered one of Newfoundland's most architecturally important buildings. The Basilica of St. John the Baptist, built between 1842 and 1892, is in the form of a Latin cross with slender twin towers 46 meters high. Its most notable artistic feature is its ornate gold leaf ceiling. The Basilica is now a National Historic Site. People love St. John's because of the maritime music on George Street. Newfoundland is a center for traditional maritime music, a style characterized by its strong Scottish and Irish influences and by the songs and ballads of sailors and fishermen. Maritime music usually features fiddle and guitar and often piano. And although its sounds and rhythms vary, it's a distinctive and addictive style that carries a strong sense of its seafaring roots. The place to hear it is on the two block George Street, the tiny but active entertainment district in St. John's. People love St. John's because of the puffins, icebergs, and whale watching. North America's largest puffin colonies are on Newfoundland's east coast with more than 90% of the continent's Atlantic puffins breeding in Newfoundland. Whales follow small fish in their annual migrations into Whitless Bay and the waters off Newfoundland's coast and you are likely to see them even from the shore in June and July. A good place to look for whales and icebergs from the shore is at the village of Flat Rock on the Marine Drive north of St. John's. People love St. John's because of the screeched in ceremony. Being screeched in is pretty simple. Take one ordinary cod and one shot glass of Newfoundland screech, a potent rum made on the island. You must stand in the presence of a native Newfoundlander and only then may you pucker up, kiss the cod, drink your screech and be properly accepted as an honorary Newfoundlander. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love St. John's. If you've got a reason why you love St. John's, Pop it in the comment section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now.